now that free sowing virgin tree is out, I'm finally having some time to catch up with some of the things I've been neglecting. And one of them is the timing plugin. As you may know, free sowing has a high design, which allows you to recreate IKEA's Blahai Shark. It's a really great pattern, and we all owe a depth of gratitude to Wouter, who created it. However, when the pattern was initially submitted, it felt sluggish. The end result was fine, but when you were tweaking the options, there was a noticeable delay before the pattern would update in the browser. So back then, I wrote a timing plugin for free sewing that would keep track of how long it took to e draft each individual part, allowing us to quickly zoom in on the slowest parts in the code. Thanks to this plugin, I was able to quickly isolate the problem, it was the teeth, in case you're wondering, and change the code to make it significantly faster. This timing plugin has existed ever since, but it merely adds telemetry to the pattern, never gotten around to actually surfacing that data and making it useful for developers or just curious users. So, finally got around to doing that, and I feel it's a good occasion to answer a question I get sometimes, which is why, by default, we do not include seam allowance on free sewing. Okay, so here's our Jaeger pattern, which is probably one of the, if not the most complicated pattern on freesewing.org. At the top here, you can see the output from the timing plugin. This view is available in the view menu on the left. What you see here is that each time the pattern is regenerated, because we change the setting, the plugin will generate more data, which then gets added to this graph. So we can clearly see here that if we do something like toggle on paperless, there is more work to do, and thus it will take longer. Or if we disable the complete setting and merely draft the pattern outline without any annotations, things are much faster. But what is perhaps unexpected is that even when the pattern is at its simplest, toggling on seam allowance will have an impact on the render time that is greater than all other changes we make. In other words, it is significantly faster to draw a whole bunch of extra stuff than to add more seam allowance. The reason for that is somewhat complex, but it's because it's, there is no closed form integral solution for offsetting a cubic Bezier curve, or in simpler terms, there is no mathematical formula to calculate seam allowance exactly. It's an iterative process with trial and error to actually draw a curve parallel to another curve. Of course, free sewing supports seam allowance, and not only that, you can set it to any value you please, but it's computationally expensive to generate seam allowance and has a significant impact on performance. Don't take my work for it though. Now that I've integrated the timing plugin on the website, you can try it yourself on freesewing.org.